You may have seen a 3D printed peacock before, but no one is like this one. And I'm gonna show you how I slice it. Okay guys, let's take a look at this model. Uh, it has a lot of parts and those different parts requires different uh, settings and also adjustments. Uh, I will share with you a secret, let's say in that way, uh, in the end of the video for you that doesn't have or for you that don't have a multicolor printer, for example, if you have an Ender 3 SE, an Ender 3 S1, uh, any printer that don't has multicolor option, but you also want to print the feathers uh, with colors, okay? So I will show you a somehow to do it, okay? But uh, before that, let's take a look at the main pieces and then we talk about the feathers, okay? Uh, for example, we have all the body parts in here uh, to avoid supports and also to keep those holes in here where we are going to put the feathers and also we have the feet in here so we divided this model to don't have supports and also to help us uh, with the multicolor options okay so uh, my only recommendations we don't have a lot of small pieces so the risk of disattaching from the bed it's uh, smaller okay so we can print this uh, all together in my opinion i would do it okay we have a lot of good content in the first layer with uh, the print between the bed so it's going to be okay uh, my only recommendation look when we put the arrangement in here uh, this part is way far from this one so when we are printing this we are going to have a lot of travel movements in here and this model is going to be far from the other and I don't think it's for the best so let's just changing this position in here like this okay and now let me slice for you guys and now what we have is this all the small pieces are finished and then we only still with those ones and then we finishing the feet and now look we have just this one and they are close okay this is going to avoid string problems and also the travel movements is going to be uh, a little bit shorter okay so this is closer enough look we don't have uh, a really distant travel movement look like this one so the only adjustment in the arrangement that i would do it was this one and now uh, I don't recommend you to decrease a lot the layer height. Uh, 0.2, in my opinion, is a good one for this piece because it's a big model. So if you decrease, you are only increasing the printing time. Okay, so actually, I don't think we need it because also this model is, um, how can I say it? Let's say a little bit extra, maybe something like this. Okay, what I'm, uh, what I want to say is, this model has the feathers, the colors. Maybe you guys are going to paint it, so it's not the layer height that's going to make this more or less available. Okay, so let's keep 0.2. It's a good average, and as I already said, it's a big model, an extra one, and it's going to be fine. Okay, so in this pieces, I think your standard uh, settings is going to be okay, and also just remember to check your retraction settings before. Uh, going to a big print like this we have like 19 hours so if you take a few tests it will be like 30 minutes so it's best uh, it's better if you test before going through this okay now let's go to the other parts which are the feathers okay those are the wing ones okay the wings one uh, what am I going to say to you? We don't have color changing in here. You are going to select the color depending on the part, on the uh, depending on the feather. So we have in here 
the amounts of feathers and you can check on the description of the model and also on the file, the PDF description, so you can see the reference to for you to choose your colors in here. Okay, so you can print this in blue, you can print this in brown, and then you can check uh, all the parts which color is going to be each one. Okay, in this, in the wing ones. And now let's take a look at the tail. And the tail has a little bit of a secret that I want to share with you guys. So, uh, first of all, uh, I think you guys already know this option on Prusa. I'm just point a cube in here. Let's slice it. We can make the software put a pause in here, a color change pause like this. We can just uh, put this down and then click in here. Now I, I disable. Uh, now I disable the color change where uh, you can just put this in the height that you want. Oh, I want to change the color in here. So let's click in this plus sign like this. And now we have a color change in this part. So all the printers can uh, change color between layers. You can put like this on Prusa Slicer or you also can put like this. Let me take disable again. You can right click in this, add a custom G-code and then you can put the command M25 and then you have a pause command. This is the pause command for your printer. Okay, so you can use this if you don't have the color change and if you has if you have you only need to click in here and just this. Okay? But uh what is the problem in here? We can only change colors uh, in different layers. That's the beauty for Bubble Lab printers, for example. We can make changes on the same layer. So if you are printing something multicolor, you can print different filaments in the same layer. On usual printers, like Entrance printers, for example, Ender 3v3 SE, you are only using uh, uh, different filaments on different layers. But that's the, the main reason for all this small story. Look, let's take this off and now let's bring a tail feather. If you don't have a bamboo printer, for example, but you have the 3MF file from Astaflix and you want to already print this with different colors, but we don't have the different layer heights for print, you can make an adjustment on your printer settings for printing with different colors at the same layer with a single extruder printer like an Ender 3 v 3 sc I think uh, some of you guys are uh, find out this confusing, but I will show you uh, in practice, okay? So let's see. If you have in here printer setting, you can change the extruder, oh, I'm sorry, the general in here for the extruder number like three, for example. I know you don't have, your Ender 3 doesn't have <laughs> three extruders, but you can put this in here. And now we have the custom G-code tab and we have this guy over here, tool change G-code. And we are going to put a G-code in here. All that you need is to put this code on your tool change G code. So what we are saying for the software is when you change for the first extruder to the third one, for example, you are going to use this code because this code in here, this G code is the tool change. So every single time that you are going to do a tool change, use this code. But our printer doesn't have a multiple extruder system. So the code for the tool change is M600, which is the color change code. I hope this is not so much complicated for you guys, but I think uh, you may understand, okay? We are saying for the software every time it's going to change an extruder, actually, we are just making a pause. And this allows us to make pauses 
in the same layer with different filaments. Now you are going to see because my Ender 3 V3SE have <laughs> three extruders. So I can put blue in here and then I can put white in here and then I can put like yellow and then we have now the options for making the parts with different colors like this no you I want in blue you I want in white for example and you are going to be yellow something like this but you can you can change if you want we could put another color let's add another extruder you can put as many as you want because the downside of this is any pause that the printer uh, does you are going to change the filament so you don't have a system is not autom uh, is not automatic so you are the one that have to change the filament so if you are thinking oh now i can print anything multicolor on my nether tree you can but it's going to take ages because you are the one changing the filament okay but if you have the patience now you you can print multicolor in any printer that you want okay uh in the fourth color is going to be a green one uh, guys i don't know if this is the right color for a peacock okay it's just an example and now i'm going to slice it and as you can see now on my ender tree we are going to printing in multicolor different filaments in the same layer can you see look at this now you have blue for this one look in here for example we do have different colors in the same layer so this is awesome for printers uh, for prints like this we can use different colors uh, you just have to change in here are going to be like eight filament changes you can do this but it's going to take a lot but it's a option for you that don't have a bubble lab i i for example printed a long time without a multicolor printer and that's how i did it okay so i think it's a good technique for you guys i use this a lot for make lamps and signs on fusion 360 so if you want to check this out uh, maybe it's something that you can test some different things and your own designs okay but with the excel flix uh, in this case you can use and also we have coasters and a lot of files that you may check now just another recommendation now you can use a skirt you can use a skirt as a purge part of the print okay now every color change is going to make a skirt before come back to the print okay and also let's put in here skirt height in our case three layers because after three layers we don't have color change anymore and now look we have this one and finishing the print look when we first start we have the green one first and then blue and we already made a, a skirt first and then we change this for the white one look and we did the skirt with which is going to be a part for us and after that the yellow one okay so you can play around in here with different patterns for example now you can put the parts with um uh, first layer patterns and also top layer patterns so you can change anything that you want with multi-part prints and also now multicolor okay uh, I hope you guys could uh, understand how is how it works but if you just want to simplify now you just need to put the extrusion numbers in here and the code that we provide you 
in the tool change decode. Just this, okay? In the print settings, you can play around with few patterns and other things. And also remember to use the scourge as a purge uh, part for you. Okay, guys, uh, uh, you don't need to use this uh, if you think it's so much complicated. If you are not so sure, you can print on your own printer and paint it. But as I don't have the talent for painting anything, I use this technique and I hope you guys can use it as well. Okay, I hope you guys like it. Please let a comment on this video. I want to see if you guys are liking, uh, if you guys are understanding my way to explain and I hope you learn something from this video. See you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing. Thank you.